guys welcome back to another video today is Friday and it is all about baby shower stuff today it is pouring down well it stopped raining at the moment I was showing you we are getting the I just ate a bite of something so we're getting the remnants of the hurricane Nicole I think and so it was raining really hard this morning and then there's a break right now and then there's supposed to be some more like lines of storms come through this evening right about the time that we need to leave and get out and pack the car so hopefully it will hold off but anyway I have been busy making cupcakes I've got four dozen cupcakes made I'm gonna go ahead and make the icing and I also have to make some dipped pretzels this is all for Danielle's shower which for us is tomorrow and tonight after in a little while we're gonna head over to where it is gonna be we're gonna set up we're gonna be doing like some balloon arches and so we need to like do all that beforehand so I'm not sure who all's going the girls are gonna meet us over there Michael and Danielle are gonna be there and then I know like one of her friends they're blowing up balloons right now so it's like two big balloon arches so it's a lot of balloons and so they got a jump start on it already so anyway I left my hair kind of like I didn't blow it dry because it's so humid and it's kind of frizzy but whatever <laughs> whatever uh, anyway right now I am going to just continue with my baking and stuff it's already 3 30 in the afternoon so this day has gotten away from me I had to do some other things but I'm gonna I think right now I'm actually going to make the buttercream maybe I can get these iced before we go tonight and then when I get home I don't know maybe I'll do the pretzels first those are kind of more time consuming I don't know all right change of plans <laughs> Um, when we're doing the two balloon arches, this lighting down here is just, yeah, I'm in the basement, obviously. It's not the best lighting, it's overhead, so. Um, the two balloon arches are going to be on these, like, we have these buckets that we made a long time ago. We've used them so many times, and they're just buckets with a piece of wood stuck into quickcrete, and we've used them for, like, backdrops so many times. We used them at Elena's wedding, but they've been sitting outside all, like, forever, and so... You can see that there, the wood is really bad. So I'm just gonna put a fresh coat of white paint on those and then let those dry. It's just craft paint, because it dries really quick. These aren't even gonna be seen, they're just behind the scenes, but I just, you know, in case they happen to be seen, I want the poles to look a little better than they do. I got the poles painted now I'm gonna work on my buttercream it is four o'clock I think we're leaving in about two hours so to make my buttercream sorry you know you know Belle in the kitchen um, I use one bag of powdered sugar a half a can of Crisco two sticks of unsalted butter some almond extract this is super important and then I use a dash of salt and a little bit of milk it just depends on like I can't give you an exact measurement but I mix it until it's the right consistency. It's a very humid day today, so you know that will change. I'm gonna make a big batch of it. I have four dozen cupcakes, minus one because it was crooked and we ate it. So um, I'm gonna, I don't know that I'm gonna ice all of these. I don't think I'm gonna, it's a little too many. So I'll see how far the icing stretches and we'll just bring that many. colors I made I used this like peach color but it turned it like fluorescent orange so I added some of this one to this to kind of tone it down a little bit 
I might add a little bit more, but this has more of that bitter taste because it's the pink, you know, the red dye makes. So I don't know if I'm gonna use that. I might not need to, it might just be these two colors. And I am using this tip. I think it's a 2D, yeah, 2D tip. I did 25 of the pink ones and then and then 17 green ones so we've got over 40 so that's good I'm gonna leave these in here in the pantry because I don't want my cats to you know happen to jump up on the counter and eat them so now I'm making dipped pretzel rods these are gonna be like the take-home treats so I got these candy wafers at Hobby Lobby just gonna melt them the key to melting these is to do them in 30 second increments don't just put it in for like two minutes you'll burn it and it will not be smooth and you won't be able to use it so um, but if that does happen you can add oil to it and I've been able to save it sometimes by adding oil to it so I'm just gonna do one bag at a time I have two of these hopefully it covers all those It's six o'clock now. I got all the pretzels dipped and dried and I put them in the bags. When I get home, I'll do a little bow on each one of them. Um, right now, I have two extra pretzels that I didn't have bags for, so Jackson will probably eat those. But right now, we're gonna go ahead and head uh, load up the van and head over there. We're gonna grab dinner on the way. I think everybody's gonna eat before they come. And then, I don't know how long we'll be there, but she said we have to be out by 11, so <laughs> definitely by 11. Do you hear them outside? What? No. We got the bucket floated in. It's so strangely warm. It feels like spring or summer with these storms and the wind and the warm, warm air. They got those loaded up. I need to sit. <laughs> I need to sit so that I don't regret this tomorrow. My back, um, I've had issues for years with this one like muscle in my back and if I don't rest it when it's like warning me to rest it, then I'm out of commission. <laughs> so, gonna sit for a second. We're gonna stop and grab some dinner like I said and then we might just take it over there and eat there because Danielle gave me the code in case we need to, you know, in case we're the first ones there, we might just go in there and eat. Ooh, the wind is picking up. All of a sudden, a huge, huge gust of wind. Well, that's wind, not rain. Yeah, it's wind. Unfortunately, we did not beat the rain. I 
There's a big old line of storms about to come, so we want to get these in. All right, Jackson, go help Dad. Okay, here is the space. So echoey. Those are heavy. Oh yeah, watch that. Ooh, you can two of them go down there, and then two on this end. Oh, that's dripping water, Marion. So we're gonna have the one balloon arch over here and the food tables, and then it's gonna be another balloon arch over there with the gifts. Jackson likes squeaking his feet on this floor. <laughs> Got the whole place to ourselves. <laughs> it's so echoey. Mary, your shirt is so wet. Your shirt is soaked. All right, it is the next morning. It's Saturday, November 12th. I've been busy, been busy this morning. Got all the cupcakes right here. Always when I make cupcakes and I ice, like I color the icing, I keep adding more icing color because it's not as dark, but I always have to remember it sets and it's always like a little darker. So it's kind of like a pinky orange and a green. Hopefully they'll match. We didn't really, she doesn't, wasn't particular about what she wanted. She just had bought these little orange and white cupcake liners that she wanted me to use, and she didn't really care about the rest. She doesn't even like cupcakes. So anyway, they're gonna be delicious, I know that. And then uh, I got the pretzel rods all put together last night with the little bows. I forgot. We, um, side bag, well, I'll show you them. We had little tags, and I forgot them at the venue. So I might just like tape them to the front. They're, they're just these little tags that say thank you, you know, thank you for coming, whatever. So if I have time when I get there, I'll do that. But I'm gonna load up. Now Marion actually went to help Michael get some a couple more tables and Marion's actually gonna come to the shower. So there's no, it's not men, but Michael will be there, Marion will be there. I think maybe Danielle's dead, I don't know. But anyway, Marion is gonna come. And so he's already gone. What time is it? It's almost 11. I'm gonna leave here at 11.15, get there at 11.30. Shower starts at one. So we're just gonna like set up the food. I did some queso dip. I'm sure everybody knows how to make it. Just Velveeta cheese, a block of that, a can of Rotel, and some sausage that I cooked and added all together. We're gonna have queso dip and buffalo dip. And then her mom is doing like a lot. She's doing meatballs, Chick-fil-A Chick chicken, chicken salad sandwiches, ham biscuits, cheesecake. It's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be fun. Um, somebody's texting me. <laughs> but last night was so fun and so exhausting. We were there for like three hours. I think we left at, what time did we leave? 10 o'clock, I think, 10.30, 10, 10 or 10.30. But 
we got it all done. We got two, the two balloon arches done, which looks so good. And um, the table set up and everything. There's gonna be a lot more to do today, but we did the majority of it last night. I can't imagine if we had to do all of that this morning. We'd have been there at like eight o'clock this morning, but thankfully it's all set up. So I'm gonna load the car up and then I'll show you what everything looks like when we get there. I'm gonna close the vlog now. It was a beautiful shower. They got so much stuff, as you can see. So many gifts. Claire's trying to scratch my chair. You wanna come up here? Anyway, we're all exhausted. It's been the longest week ever, and I'm gonna sit and relax, but I hope that you enjoyed seeing a little bit of the party prep. Her mom did all of the food. I just did a few things, but it was a, definitely a joint effort getting everything set up and torn down, and it was a success, and she said it was everything that she had envisioned, so. I, you know, that's what's most important. So anyway, I love you all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.